Uh, so guys, um, do you remember the last time we brought about the content of uh, slave trade in Baragre? Uh, how, but uh, how slave, has uh, how slavery took place in Baragre, including some items that we are using in exchange of uh, exchange of slaves there, and uh, it's it's still live in our channel. You can go check it out. You know. So this time around, guess what? This um, popular content creator whom I admire so much, Maria Moyakilomi, has decided to extend her discovery outside Nigeria. And guess what? She is live in Benin Republic, you know. So, as we all know, slave trade in Africa doesn't just happen only in Nigeria. It also happens in so many African countries, including, um, including Benin Republic, Ghana, Cameroon, I guess South Africa, and some couple of other countries too. So guys, this time around, it was a very nice discovery as um, she discovered how uh, slave slavery took place um, in Barag. Uh, sorry, how slavery took place in Benin Republic, and it's such an interesting uh, conversation. So this guy now you are seeing doesn't really understand English and he doesn't speak English as we, uh, some of us may know. Uh, Benin Republic has uh, French as the official language and not English. So he all he normal the guy we speak in French. Why the lady? Why the woman we translate in in French in English? Sorry, the guy we speak in French. Why the guy, lady we trans uh, translate it to English? You know. So it's such an interesting um, interesting discovery because uh, some of us doesn't know what happened during our forefathers. We are just we are just new age we are people and and i'm so disturbed that the government really want to uh, but, uh tarnish or really don't want the current generation to know what's happened uh to their forefathers and where they are coming from you know so but uh before going for that kind of like this video and watch to the end okay where are we now we are here at the place of Chacha. We are here at the place of Chacha. In reference to the name of the famous negotiator of Don Francisco Chacha. So this is where they have the negotiations of, of uh, concerning the slaves. On l'a appelé, on l'a surnommé Chacha parce qu'il était rapide et efficace dans la négociation. Because they called him Chacha, like fast, fast. Chacha means fast, fast because he was very fast to negotiate their prices to be sold. Okay. En fait, c'est des sous ces tables là que vous voyez. Is um, on that tree that we can see over there. That uh, they, do, they have the negotiation of the slaves. Dans la réalité, la route de l'esclave commence au moment où on a capturé un intéressé. So when you talk about slavery, it starts with the time where they captured the people that they are going to sell the slaves that going Et to continue be sold. au moment où on l'a stocké à un endroit fils. And uh, continues to where. Um, the point where they stocked them at a particular fixed position. Donc, no, why we pas de so the, the kingdom did not have a, an official prison. They keep them in a particular place and feed them as well before they will bring them to this point. À cette place, on les avec des um, at this point, they exchange the slaves with different objects. Um, amidst these objects, you could see mirrors, les pagnes, wrappers, les alcohols en Europe, alcohol, um, um, dry jeans. Des objets qui en réalité avaient de peu de valeur. Um, objects that in reality have a lot, at least some value. Donc quand on finit leur échange, chacun sait qu'il a acheté, par exemple pour un miroir. Pour un miroir, on peut remettre 11 hommes ou 21 femmes. Ok, maybe for a mirror, they could give you 11 men ou 20 femmes. En fait. So, this tree is actually where the, the, the sale of the slaves take place. So, how, how old is this tree now? Cette arbre a combien de années maintenant? Depuis 1700, donc ça fait déjà 400 ans. That's um, since 1700, it's over 400 years. Oh. Et nous sommes ici devant la maison du négociant. So this is in front of the home of the negotiators. So their descendants have remained here up till today. En fait, qu'est-ce qui s'est passé? En réalité, il a aidé le jeune roi. Okay, what happened here? In reality, he helped this. The negotiators helped the young king. Agaja, qui a pris la place Agaja, de son aîné, de son frère aîné. That took the place of his um, elder brother. Adanozan, qui était Adanozan, contre l'esclavage. That was against slavery. 
the elder brother was against slavery. Donc uh, il a vendu la mère du, du jeune prince. Okay, la mère du jeune prince. Okay, he, um, this uh, man Aganjano sold the mother of the young prince. Adandosan qui a vendu. Okay, Adandosan sold the mother of the young prince. Parce que ce, ce, ce cette partie du peuple du, des dirigeants était pour l'esclavage. Okay, because that part um, lui, has contre... to do with the the directors of the slaves and he was the one that took care of everything in that part. Il a envoyé la mère aller vivre ce que c'est que l'esclavage. And to show that he is actually in charge of slavery negotiations at that time, he sent the mother to go with this with Donc, the masters, the slave masters. Le négociant a aidé le jeune à prendre le trône et comme ça l'esclavage so peut continuer. So the negotiators helped the young man to retrieve the throne and that's way the slave the slavery started. Donc ici après avoir échangé les les captifs so contre les objets. When they have exchanged the captives with objects that was been mentioned already. On allait les marquer maintenant au fer chaud. They will now mark them with hot irons. On écrivait l'initiale de du maître acheteur. They, they use the, those hot irons to, to, to mark the initials of their buyers. Moi, par exemple, je m'appelle Carlos, donc si mes esclaves, on doit marquer, on doit marquer C, par exemple, sur le dos. So, if he is one of the buyers and his name is Carlos, they will mark his own slaves that he bought with the objects on with the symbol C. Le fer au feu, qui chauffe jusqu'à la, la rougeur et on met ça And they le put dos. that iron over on the fire and it gets so hot to show red light and they put it on their body Comme to ça, show this. reconnaître à la destination, je peux reconnaître que ceux qui sont marqués C sont ceux que j'ai payé. That is to say that the buyer whose name is sim uh, symbolized with C gets to know his um, slaves at the destination point. I know that these are my slaves. They were marked with the name, my initial C. C'est après le marquage qu'on va poursuivre le chemin vers maintenant l'arbre de l'oubli. Okay, so after they are marking here, they know their, their, the buyers know their slaves and then they will now take them on, on, on foot, in march, no? on euh, foot, straight to... No, he march le, oui, les esclaves. Oui. Okay, I asked him whether the slaves are supposed to walk. So they said that they have to walk from here to the point where they will get marché. to the tree of um, forgetfulness. Depuis leur capture, ils ont marché les chaînes en, au cou et au pied. So that is to say that from the, from where they are being captured, they have walked with irons on their necks and on their legs chained together. We are going to say for them not to run away or re rebel against their buyers and their negotiators. Donc, par exemple, pour le cas de Huda, stocké au royaume de Tango. So I'm um, stuck at the camp of with them um, Dahomey. That's another uh, said it's yeah, environ 140 km. So Dahomey that's um, about 140 kilometers from here. That's where they capture them from and bring them. Donc, ils doivent marcher de là ici, they have to walk from that 140 kilometers Avant to this place first before they will walk from here to seven kilometers to where they will move around a tree of um, forgetfulness. Okay, here it's a tree. In Badagri is water. Yeah, oh, so okay. here is a tree where the slaves are brought and their negotiators are here with their buyers. And their buyers, each buyer, if there are five buyers that have different names, my name is Rachel, my initial for my slaves will, come, will start with R. Then I will be able to know my slaves when we get to the point of our destination where I'm taking them to. Then from here they will have to walk. Now, not forgetting that they had already walked 140 kilometers from the home where they were captured and brought to this place to be negotiated for with objects. So, like I said, a mirror can give a man 20 uh, slaves, 20 men slaves, male slaves. For the men, 11 Okay, for men, 11, 11 slaves. Et pour les femmes, 21. Oui. Okay, for women, a mirror can give 21 women female slaves. Then the mirror, if the negotiators, if the buyers give a mirror to the negotiators, they will give if they want male slaves, they give them 11 males. But if they want females, they give them 21 female slaves. Okay. And they are all chained and walking Après, together. Nous avons encore cinq étapes. Passons pas de six étapes au lieu de sept parce que la maison de marquage, on ne peut plus aller la visiter aujourd'hui. Ça a été présenté par un site privé déjà. Okay, um, we, we, we have seven stages, seven stages uh, when we talk about slavery, but today we're talking six because the seventh place has already been taken with um, um, renovations and what, what, what not. So the next stop will be the, the tree of forgetfulness. Okay, so we're going there. So I believe now. we also have the tree of forgetfulness in... No, they don't. What no, they have is a well. A well of forgetfulness and they have to turn around. Yeah, no.
ocean well. He had just the well water they give our uh, forefathers then to make them to lose their memory. It was dug by African chiefs and they added black food. Okay, pour pour eux au Badakri, chez nous ici nous avons la peau d'oubli. Mais pour eux là-bas, ils ont un puits, comment dire, puits. Le puits, le puits d'oubli. Okay, c'est de l'eau. Oui, c'est de l'eau qu'ils boivent pour savoir oublier leurs origines et tout et tout. Donc c'est le même processus, mais c'est seulement que ici nous avons un arbre, là-bas il y a un puits. Okay, so here it's actually almost the same thing, just that we have different things at different places. Okay, you you can actually walk in here to check, but because of um, because of um, what is it called? Renovations that's coming to the okay, world yeah. and everything. This is now a, a private um, abode of um, the descendants. C'est la maison du négociant. The people, the negotiators' home. This is now their descendants. They have lived here, retained here, renovated into their taste. So this is not how it was the last time I came here. Uh, so the story of slave trade is not really that more different from uh, from the one of Nigeria. You know, J the one you just watched now is not really that much different from the one of Nigeria, from the one of Badagri. You know, as we all know, then the, when slaves have been captured, um, they will write their, uh, the name of. Uh, the slave masters on their chest but in benin republic according to the guy they will only write the symbol of the person like that is yeah, for instance if your name is richard and you are you want to buy a slave um you can use a a sharp iron place on the fire and and mark the slave with the letter r that is richard you know so uh why so when getting to uh this tree of forgetfulness you can easily identify your your slave with your name you know and outside that uh the guy also talk about um how uh slaves have been exchanged with items and objects which is similar to what happened in baragre you know and according to the guy the guy said like uh, items like uh, schnapps um rapper uh you know and some other things which are if you look at it they are also similar to what i posted um a few a uh, few months back in baragri you know so i guess there's no more difference uh, uh between all these african countries in terms of slave trade they are all the same but just little little difference you know but i'm i'm so worried why government doesn't want to continue the the teaching of history in our in our various institutions and school you know, because this will really make uh this really will really help the new generation at least understand their roots you know because believe me most of there are so many africans outside africa that is if you are to visit europe uh, some of all these foreign continents we definitely see so many africans there yeah, that's sure like sometimes we don't even know how these black americans or black europeans come up you know? some of these people if you trace their route you will discover that the africans that are that we are enslaved and taken away you know but in all that we always preach love we always preach peace you know no matter what this is just a story this is just a history and it should be left so there's no need to panic, there's no need to bring any confusion, there's no need to declare any war, something like that. So let us just leave it like that. It's a story and we keep on learning despite whatever that happens, you know. So I will be ending here, but my next content will be this uh, the tree of forgetfulness. You remember in Baragre there is in Baragre, um when slaves are being captured, they are given water. You know in order for them to lose their memory for the journey you know so but that's if that's quite different from benin republic in benin republic there is a tree and that tree when you go it run once slaves um uh, when slaves are being captured and they move around the around the tree they will definitely forget who they are then be taken away you know but that will be our next video kindly uh stick tuned to our channel so but for now we will be ending here thank you for watching kindly like and subscribe bye